My name is Tyler Forens. I'm a senior security analyst here at Expel. Our goal here at Expel is answers, not alerts. So really, we're trying to pull together all of the pieces of the puzzle and be able to give the full story of an intrusion or attacker activity in a client network. This is the classic example of a, a phishing document that a user might receive if, um, you know, that we would find in an, as part of alert triage. So essentially, um, this is a malicious document that our service identified that we need to find out, you know, basically prove whether or not this ran in the client environment and it poses a threat to them. I'm using VMware Analyzer as a way of identifying additional leads that might lead me to whether or not there is a security incident in the client environment. So right away, we can see that VMware Analyzer has identified this file as malicious based on some things that it saw in the VTI engine. So as an analyst, I want to jump in there and see what exactly it saw that made it think that it was malicious. The first thing that I'm looking at is the monitor process tab. Basically, I'm saying I want to see like whether or not if a user was to open this, does this align with what I would expect it to look like forensically on the host if a user was opening a regular Word file that was not malicious. Some things that jump out at me, we see winword.exe, which is Microsoft Word, opening the command shell and then running a PowerShell script. Not ideal. That's usually the classic kill chain of you know malicious compromise via a Word document. And VMware Analyzer right there has identified to me that this is a likely a suspicious document. My curiosity always comes from like, well, okay, what did the attacker try to spoof um, the user into thinking that this was? And one of the cool things about the VMware Analyzer is it provides me a screenshot from the VM of what the user would have seen if they were running this document on their own host. So this is, you know, a lot of the compromise that we see normally in a corporate environment stems from email. This is a good example of how VMRA can help us easily solve what's going on and identifying whether or not we can go and find the evidence that the user actually clicked enable editing and therefore compromise themselves. So another way of looking at this data that uh, VMware Analyzer provides us is um, the VTI engine itself. It provides us these classifications of things that it identified as suspicious or malicious. And a couple of the things that stand out to me in this sample is going to be right here where it executes dropped PE file. Like right away, we can take this piece of evidence, identify and go looking in an environment to see, do we see you know something executing out of this path on any other machines? Do we see randomly named executables like this one executing after this malicious Word document has opened? And that kind of helps us identify whether or not this is something that a user clicked on in the environment. You know, additionally, we can look down here and we can see um, you know, the actual VBA macro that was run on the box to be able for this malicious activity to happen. So you know, without even looking at the process tree, we can look at the VTI engine and kind of get an idea of like, does this sample match the expected kill chain of what we would expect if this document was run and uh, malicious activity was performed on a box. Additionally, the network tab, this is something we use a lot as well. Basically, this is going to give us an idea of any of the network-based indicators that were identified upon the execution of this sample. And what we do with this is we can say, OK, we know that if this was to run in an environment, that it would contact these domains or these IP addresses. We can then go scope the entire environment for these domains and IP addresses to make sure that it matches with you know, what we would expect it to happen in the environment and identify other hosts that may have been compromised by this. So if we go into our client environment and say, hey, we've identified that this domain is malicious and we found these are three other machines that have contacted this domain. Even if we don't have visibility to them, we've already helped them in our step ahead because we can help them um, you know, bridge that visibility gap. The way in which we use the Yara tabs is essentially a lot of the times when we're uploading something to um, the VMRA analyzer, it's usually an unknown sample that we've never seen before that we can't kind of identify with our own IOCs. So Yara rules help us identify, you know, has the community seen this? Are there strings in these files that match known activity? And can we possibly identify them with a malware family or a specific piece of malware itself that is commonly seen? And in a lot of ways, we can see right up here, this matches the activity of a maldoc with VBA macro code. So right away, before we even dynamically run this, our VMware analyzer has gone ahead and scanned this file and told us it matches this activity. You should be interested in it for these reasons. So what I like about using VMware Analyzer is, again, it doesn't require me to do any additional lift on my end to have the infrastructure to be able to do dynamic analysis. Um, it also saves a lot of time for us to be able to report things to our clients and be able to identify additional leads so that we can provide those answers uh, to our clients in a lot faster and more efficient way than having to you know, cut a ticket, wait for an additional L2 or L3 team to be able to go through and analyze the data, which you know sometimes takes hours and sometimes even days to do. Um, within VMware, I can have that done in you know, less than 15 minutes.